Hi guys, welcome back for another video. If you are new here, my name is Bailey and today we're going to be doing a Christmas wish list slash gift ideas for girls in their 20s. So this is kind of like specific to me. These are things that I want. I thought I would go through my Christmas wish list first and then at the end I kind of just brainstorm some ideas for you guys if you are kind of stuck and you don't know what you want because if you're like me then usually throughout the year you want so many things and when it comes time for Christmas you literally can't think of a single thing. I feel like this year was the first year that I actually did a good job at keeping up with what I was wanting and kind of like writing down things throughout the year that I would think of. I also just want to mention that I have on this cute sweatshirt. It says happy Christmas and it has the Harry Potter Ford Anglia on it. So Drew got me this for Christmas last year but I never got to wear it because he got me it on Christmas. So I was super excited to wear it this year. And of course I'm sitting in front of the Christmas tree only fitting and also we have some Hogwarts. Well, actually this is Hogsmeade. Yeah. Hogsmeade ambiance. I just want to stare at it. I muted it but it does have some Harry Potter music playing with it so it's very calming and cozy just channeling all of the cozy vibes so without further ado let's dive right in and get into the gifts i just want to preface this by saying that i in no way want to seem materialistic i know that all the things of this world are so fleeting and they don't matter but i'm super super grateful because drew and i do have a lot of family that has asked us for gift ideas and so we had to come up with a lot of things to send to people and i'm so so thankful for all of those people my my parents and my grandparents and Drew's parents and Drew's grandparents and so on. It looks like we have a little ad. Let me skip that. But I'm so so thankful for all those people and my only hope for this video is that you can get some ideas for your Christmas wish list or for gifts for other people. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my computer right here so I'm going to be kind of referring to that. I'm going to scoot kind of to the side because I'm going to be putting pictures of all this stuff in right here. So the first thing is the KitchenAid Mixer Bread Bowl and it is on sale for $99 right now. Typically it's $129. It's so so cute. I did didn't know, even know this existed. I was just searching for like a cute KitchenAid mixer bowl instead of the normal silver one and this one is so adorable. You can flip it upside down and then it comes with a lid and so the lid is actually like the bottom thing and then you put the bowl on top when you're making bread so i'm so excited for that because i really have been wanting to start making sourdough bread just some other youtubers i watch have just been very inspired by them to start making it so i figured that would kind of help kickstart it actually having something to bake it in because i don't have a dutch oven right now so anyway super excited for that and then along with that i do have some other bread baking supplies that i wanted to get i I am asking for some weck jars and so I want the bigger ones I don't know exactly how oh the 26 ounce ones so this was interesting I actually saw on Amazon they were a lot more expensive than they were on Crate and Barrel and Crate and Barrel I feel like is just always super expensive so I would recommend getting them from Crate and Barrel if you are looking for some I think they're only five dollars each but that is for making sourdough starter and then along with that i'm gonna ask for a bread bowl and then bread lame i think that's what it's called but it's the thing that you use to score the bread so super excited for that stuff the next thing that drew and i are both asking for is an espresso machine so let me look exactly which one it's the Breville Bambino Espresso Machine. So it's kind of one of the less expensive ones. Of course, they're all really expensive, but this one is $3.50 and we are so excited for this. We've been wanting an espresso machine since we got married just to make coffee every single day, make our own lattes and kind of come up with our own coffee recipes and stuff. So we're so excited for that. And along with that, we do have some espresso supplies that we're asking for as well. So something that we don't have because we really just have had a need for it is a frother we're asking for that there's one on amazon that is twenty dollars so we're asking for that one and then another thing regarding the espresso is just espresso glasses these are also from amazon and they are fourteen dollars and then the last coffee thing are these beautiful beautiful flower coffee spoons that i saw on amazon and for a 10 piece set they're only 13 dollars, which i thought was such a good deal because of the 
detail and just how beautiful these are. I just cannot wait. I feel like these are just truly a work of art, so I'm so excited about those. The next thing is the Weekender bag in beige by the brand Beige Travel. So one of my friends actually had this bag back in college when we were having like a girl sleepover, and it was so cute. I remember thinking, one, that it was so adorable, and two, that it was the perfect size for like a weekend trip, and she even said that. She was like, it's literally perfect, and that's why it's called the Weekender bag. And the last time I got a duffel bag was in sixth grade. I got two and they're like monogrammed and look like a Vera Bradley pattern type thing. And they're just really not my style anymore. Also, one of them was storing my dance costumes from high school and it is just covered in glitter. The other one is fine, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I just feel like it's time for a new one. And I've really been needing one because anytime I've gone anywhere, I've just used Drew. So I'm really excited for that hoping to get it. I know I'm like talking like I'm going to get all of these things, but I'm just hoping and hopefully I will get them. But yes, I love that so, so much and they have beautiful colors. So if you're looking for a duffel bag, I think that would be a really great option. Next up is fake tulips. So I don't know where I saw these, but I think I saw someone on Instagram months and months ago who had fake tulips and they looked so beautiful, so real, just kept them out whenever she didn't have real flowers to put out. And so they are only $20 on Amazon. So hopefully I get those and I think they'll be a really nice addition to the home. Next thing is a little more specific to me because I'm a photographer, but there's this beautiful camera bag that I'm asking for. My current camera bag has been, it has been through it. And it was only like $60 originally off of Amazon. I think I got it like four years ago or three years ago, I can't quite remember, but I feel like I've had that thing forever. It is ripping in the bottom and it's truly about to just like split open into a big hole. There's two little tiny holes. So I'm excited for this one. This one's a bit expensive. It's $269, but it's leather and it's really, really well made. And I think that this will last me a really, really long time, if not my entire photography career. So I'm excited about that. The next thing is also kind of specific to me, but it, you guys might like it if you have a similar style as me. It's this dress and it's called the Michael Maxi Dress. I think the brand is called Bome. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but it's such a beautiful brand and I love, love, love their dresses so much. And so I'm excited for this one because it's on sale and it's so beautiful. I'm really into ruffles right now so I'm hoping that it turns out well and that it fits okay the next thing is I guess more of like a trendy thing but I just think these are so so precious it's the flower claw clips I think they're so so cute unfortunately my hair won't go up in a claw clip I looked up all of the tutorials for thick hair and claw clip whatever and mine just it's just I guess it's just too thick I don't know if I'm just don't have a big enough claw clip or what but I've seen girls who use the flower ones just for like half up half down and then they'll put it like right there so I'm so excited because I feel like that's just such a cute touch and accessories really make the outfit so excited for those and those are only $15 on Amazon the next few things I don't have links for them yet because we don't know exactly which ones we want well, I say we, there's like one thing that Drew and I want together and then the other ones, I just haven't chosen which ones I want yet. But something that I started doing, it was a little after we moved into our apartment, a little bit after we got married, was anytime we had a guest, I would take my Polaroid and I would take a picture of them and then write at the bottom the date that they visited, just to have kind of like a visitor log of sorts, but it would just be fun memories to see nights that we've shared together and fun nights that we've hosted here. So I really wanted to get a Polaroid scrapbook to where I could put all of those together and we could just kind of flip through it and fill it up hopefully and then just get another one but I haven't picked one out yet so that's one thing that was a Polaroid scrapbook another thing is gold flatware so when we got married we added to our registry some gold flatware but sadly it has started to turn and almost all of it is silver now and we both just really like the gold tones better than the silver so we have been trying to find some more expensive and durable flatware that we can use but we haven't picked it out yet next thing is organization for a bathroom cabinet just haven't picked out that yet either but our cabinet is kind of a mess it's not like the uh, cabinet under the sink it's another cabinet that we 
bought and every time I open and close it, everything kind of like rattles and we just need some containers or something. Next thing is a knife sharpener. I didn't realize that we would need this. Neither of us did. We thought our knives would just stay sharp forever. I haven't even really looked for that, but I need to look and get on that so we can add it to our list and hopefully get it for Christmas because our knives are really getting dull. Next up is another photography related thing too. It's this iPhone tripod mount. So basically it's like you're holding your camera and then your phone will mount in top like where your flash, external flash would normally go. And it's really good just to get some like behind the scenes or have some sneak peeks and just stuff to share on my Instagram and also to go ahead and send over to the bride and groom so they can kind of have a little glimpse into their day before I can get them the professional photos. And it's $12.94 also on Amazon. Next thing is the shelves and I as I keep going through this, I really just feel like it is such an adult Christmas wish list. But like I said, this is my real wish list and it is for girls like me who are similar to me, who live a similar lifestyle in your 20s. So sometimes you just need organizational shelves. So our pantry is literally just like a big deep cabinet and right now there's just so much stuff in there I never have room and then there's not really like a certain place for things and so we really just needed some shelves so we can like have more storage on the top half and the bottom half just organize it all together because it stresses me out every time I look in there. And the shelves that we want are from Amazon. They're $30, but I think they're super cute and they definitely match my vibe, my style. Next up are some shoes from the brand Ruli. So if you've never heard of Ruli, I think it is in Utah. And I don't know if they have a brick and mortar store, but I know it's at least an online boutique. And they have such beautiful and modest clothes. I think it may be like a Mormon brand so that would make sense why it's modest clothing but they have like long dresses they have cute jumpsuits that I've gotten to wear to weddings to shoot weddings and they have such cute shoes I stay looking at their shoes I'm excited for these shoes but I have no idea how to pronounce them so they are on sale for $40 and I just think they're so cute and versatile and can go with any outfit next up is some slippers so the ones I have on right now are these little <laughs> pink ones but I've really gotten my wear out of them my grandma got me them last Christmas and I wear them almost every single day if I can find them and I really just want some new slippers because these literally have holes in the bottom of them so definitely need some new ones but again for these I don't have a link or a picture because I don't know exactly what I want I actually did just see some really cute ones in home goods like one or two months ago so I may just go in there and buy them I don't know if you guys do this thing but my grandmas will ask me to buy stuff and then like get it sent to them and they'll pay me back so maybe I'll do that next up is the free people dupe forever 21 jacket so this is so so cute I have it in pink and I love it so much I think it's on sale right now for like $28 or something and it is such good quality I can't even describe to you how amazing it is I love it I want it in every single color but I'm asking for it I think in the taupe color or maybe it was brown I'm not sure but I just wanted like a more neutral color that I could wear with any outfit but I love the pink and it keeps me warm and it's amazing so love 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 that jacket would highly highly recommend it the last thing that i have on my christmas wish list is pressed flower bookmarks so i actually saw these on instagram i think her username is abigail cups of tea or something like that but i recently started following her she's a youtuber who makes videos about books and reading and stuff like that and so i've really enjoyed her videos but she posted these beautiful beautiful pressed flower bookmarks that I love so much and I don't have any bookmarks and I've been reading a lot lately and so I've just been using like receipts for my bookmarks so I'm hoping to get those but if I don't get those I will just buy them myself because I think they're so pretty and they're on Etsy they're like nine dollars a piece so for the second part of this video like I said I just kind of brainstormed some ideas that you could ask for I'm not necessarily asking for these but like I would be happy if I got them 
them. But really and truly, I just want to be helpful for you guys to give you some ideas. So here are some ideas for you. I am just going to read these off of my computer because I made a little Google sheet of them. But we have Apple Watch Band, Phone Case, Stanley Cup, of course, if you don't already have one. I know they just released some new ones that are supposed to not spill, so maybe you could get that books such as novels or bible study books record player or records film camera latte mugs pajama set workout set tote bag bubble candle i think these are so cute headphones nail polish perfume sneakers puffer jacket and chunky knit blanket so i hope that from watching this video you got some ideas maybe you can add some of these things to your wish list above all i just hope that we all just remember the reason that christmas exists it's because christ's birth and it truly just changed the world for the better and i wouldn't be who i am today without jesus and his life and his sacrifice so i just want to end with that but thank you so much for watching i'm so grateful for you and hope that you're having a wonderful start to your holiday season can't wait to make more christmas videos go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are already and i can't wait to see you guys next time bye